Hi, I'm here to show you how to get an Adele inspired bun. So the keys to this look are making sure that you have a really deep side part. So you wanna make sure that it's a little further over than you would naturally wear it, especially if you're wearing it down. And one of the other keys is to making sure which side you look better with hair. Do you look better with it off to the left or do you look better with it off to the right? I like the way Kristen looks with her hair off to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am going to actually be pinning it for her because she doesn't have a back mirror, so she can't really see exactly what she's doing. So uh, go ahead and tease your crown a little bit. So just taking uh, the tail comb and using the tail to take a section up, back combing the back side of the section so that you get a little bit more volume in your hair. You don't want things to be too slicked down to your hair when you're wearing your hair up. It's a harsh look that doesn't look good on most people. That's perfect, thank you. So after you get that teasing put into the hair, make sure you smooth it out before you go and put the hair up. What I'm gonna do uh, with Kristen's bun is start by putting it back into a rubber band. That's a great way to secure your hair when you're wearing it in a bun. And it's also easy for everyone to do. So you're gonna secure it in a ponytail. Getting everything nice and smooth. With a little bit of the hair out in front of the ears on the side that we're wearing it so it's not too slicked back on that side. So just putting it into a regular ponytail. And you wanna have it so that you can see the hair that you're putting up in front of the head. So you wanna be able to look straight ahead and see the bun um, when, in the mirror when you're looking straight ahead. So we have it in a good spot because we can see that on Kristen right now. So what you wanna do is just wrap the hair and wrap it around the ponytail that you just created. You wanna make sure that it's big and voluminous so it doesn't look like you have five strands of hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure the bun by using bobby pins and locking them into place perpendicularly in an X. And so I'm gonna tuck these little guys in so it's a little bit more of a, a polished bun as opposed to a messy bun. But if you wanted more of a messy bun look, what you could do is uh, not tuck those pieces in and let the pieces hang out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this piece and just incorporate it in to the bun by laying it over the side. I'm gonna leave it soft so that it's not too tight back on Kristen. And then tuck this piece in. Now I'm gonna take hairpins, which are kind of look like bobby pins that have been stretched out, and uh, connect little pieces in the bun where there might be little gaps, because that's pretty normal when you create a bun in your hair. And especially when you get it stretched out like this, it's easy to create a few little holes. I'm just taking the hairpins in and Plugging the holes. Thank you. And you want to make sure that the hair is secure. So if you feel like it's loose, especially underneath, take a few more bobby pins and just secure it underneath. I know when you go through and you put hair pins in, sometimes it can knock the hair loose a little bit and make it feel like it's going to fall out. So when you get into the fringe area, you can either try to pin it in and incorporate it with the updo itself, 
or you can leave it out soft and curly. And um, I'm gonna recommend for Kristen that she leave it out because it's short, it'll soften the look, and I think it'll be really pretty. So what I'm gonna have her do is take it and curl it off of her face by wrapping it around the iron but not putting it in between the barrel and the tongs. So I'll just go ahead and do the first section for her and then she'll do the other two. Just off the face, really soft, getting a little bit of curl set in in there. Just so it's not too terribly flat. A really straight look around your face isn't always the best look to create. So yeah, that's beautiful. Make sure you leave it in there for a few seconds so that the curl actually has time to set in. So now it just has that really soft bend right around her face. And this is how you create a side bun much like the one that Adele often wears.